get to this point. Yeah. Oh, it's going. Woo! What the heck? There we go. There you go. All right, you guys, Sam and I are gonna go try to get the money pit. That's the old dump truck, and I'm starting to call it the money pit, because last time I got it, I paid 2,000 and some odd dollars to have it put back together, and it didn't get, didn't roll one foot, and honestly, it sounded like crap when it was fired up. And the time before that, I paid about 2,000 and some odd dollars, and that one, that time, it did drive about 10 blocks or 20 blocks down the road before she was dead on the road. So this time we're gonna go get it and we're gonna see if the money pit's gonna make it. How you doing, Sam? Hanging in there, all things considered. There she is. I don't know if I wanna be sitting right in the exhaust zone of this truck. All right, let's go see if there's anything special we need to know about her. Dan. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Looks like she's getting more garbage the longer she sits here. <laughs> oh boy, you did that. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. Metals growing out of the box. Yeah, that's yeah, it, no, dude. That is, that is definitely. That's Actually, you know what? Our last time we spun her off, we spun the drive shaft off sitting right here, and it flung this way. Hey, coming up. Missing a, missing a tire there, huh? Am I really missing it? Oh, you missed another one, huh? Yeah, we equaled that out. You equaled it out, <laughs> yeah. Lighten her up a little bit. Get some better gas mileage, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Should be in a fun ride. She so got some speed holes in the bed, all that stuff. <laughs> I like the way you think. Fuel efficiency, economy, lighten it up. We get yeah. a little, go a little further. Yeah, well, well, she'll go a little further, a little faster. Find out what's going on. Oh, there's the man himself. I'm surprised they took it, dude. I'm happy they did. How you doing today? Bad. How'd that go back together for you? Fine. Yeah? Yep. Now what's the damages I owe you? Let's take her. Just you want her gone. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Guys, this is Scott down in South St. Paul. If you haven't met him before, he's the owner of Independent Diesel. So we'll give her a we'll give her a go and see how she rolls, huh? Yep. Anything new cooking with you? Life, Life treating you well? Yep. Good. Got the tail light guarantee on it. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna guarantee they'll come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Oh. He won't even guarantee it will work until he's out of eye shot. <laughs> until he can't see those tail lights. Oh, all right. Well, hopefully the the drive shaft doesn't spin off again. You want to take it? You want to give it the test run, Sam? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Whoa. Right here. Oh, I think they'd retire on this one. All right, we are in neutral. Should not have to do. Oh, flip it up. Secret oh, switch. Listen to her. Stinks. She stinks. She's still burning that old fuel. Cummins 290. Check the oil last time we were here. You guys were like, you didn't check the oil. No, I checked it last time I was here. And it hasn't moved and she's not leaking any. Hey, you got a key to the yard, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Gonna take about five minutes for her to air up enough that we can do anything. Do anything. And I say we just kind of 
don't get out of this parking lot before we give it a little, a little go because yeah. once once we're out then yeah we're, we're committed we're, we're on our own <laughs> yeah i'm gonna try to actually get this to the yard and then try to dump that crap off and then i'll push it to the side and i'll load it into our dump trailer and haul it down but that way i'm not stuck at twin city refuse yeah, with the I box they, yeah. i don't think they push it through the gates man. yeah yeah no we'll we'll get that dumped and down and then uh man I, five grand to get to this point yeah a little bit of a bit more money than I wanted to spend just to get her down the road. <laughs> oh, hopefully she'll okay, keep... Well, what are you going to do with it after it gets down the yard? What are we going to do with it then? I'm going to call up Vice Grip Garage and tell them to come oh, on over. Oh, we're doing awesome. I mean, I don't know. I don't no, know. No, we are. Over. Man, I was... I said that. Vice How Grip Garage? Yeah. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. All right, Vice Grip Garage, you're called out. There you go. Now we're calling you out. Make it into a tire slayer. A what? A tire slayer. The tire spinning moss. Ah, okay. Wrap around that sucker out, man. A tire slayer. All right. What all did they have to replace on here? Well, they put all new brakes in. He put in a new fuel pump. They drained the, he drained the fuel system, put new uh, diesel fuel in. I don't know how much we got. We got enough to get us home. What, we gotta go three streets up? Three streets up? Three, yeah, just up and over. Up and over. Woo! Oh, that smells pretty terrible. And then right about when I get to the light, I feel something change in the truck, and I think I blow an airline. But it's just as fast for me to get to the shop as it is for me to get to safety because of the road construction. is trying to do is trying to produce more air than that leak is trying to let out yeah i stuck on that hill for a quick second sam yeah yeah you did oh hey so i counted three people taking pictures of you on the way over <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not used to seeing a truck with weeds growing no, out they're probably like oh look at this oh, <laughs> oh. i know i would have been uh, i think i'm just going to come in and try to dump right in front of this pile right here that way it's out of the way and then that way if i can get it to dump then um get it to dump. <laughs> we'll see if i can get it to dump then uh because then we got some stuff to clean up right here as well well maybe i'll just go right here yeah dump on top of that that's a demo load anyway all oh, that's treated all right I'll show 
you the shift pattern here in a moment, but let's just see if this thing will count. close. Okay, Who would have thought that I have some low fluids in that thing? What a surprise. That thing is full of freaking garbage. Final stage on the hoist still won't fully extend. It may be a combination of the new hydraulic fluid, but I think that all needs to be drained and changed out. But before I can go through that, I just want to get all the crap out of the back of this box. Give her another one. Bounce it a couple more times, it's going. It's just all like hyper compacted trash in there. Yeah, well we're not hitting our first stage, that's why we're not yeah. helping. Right? Yep. I wonder if we got any more hydraulic fluid. I see some containers up on the top shelf. Crap. 
It's going. It's just like hyper compacted freaking trash. Oh, look, a boot. A boot, a boot. I don't know if we're at our third stage yet or not. I don't, uh, I don't think we got a little bit higher to go, but she, I don't know. You've seen plenty of dump trucks dump. How do you think that looks compared to the, to the Freightliner? She looks like she's as high. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's going. Oh. Is a mattress in there now? Damn. Oh, goodness. Oh, look, a mouse. Come on, buddy, get out of there. I'll be honest with you guys. Woo, that smells pretty terrible. Whoa, black buddy. Bam, blam. on the ground. I'm actually holding it up just high enough that I can hopefully catch the garbage without too much of the rock that we want to keep below it. get this parked and shut off before she parks and shut offs on her own. Hey, I do have a farm truck license plate on it. Right. Okay, so let's show you guys how we uh, roll this thing. This is a 13 speed transmission. All the way up and over is reverse. Straight back is first. Up and over, second back is third fourth fifth now we pull from low range to mid mid range we go back over now first gear becomes sixth gear and we can split sixth gear between sixth and seventh gear right here 
So now sixth gear is sixth and seventh. And then up and over, that is eight and nine. Back is 10, 11. And then up and over is 12 and 13. So that's how we pull off our 13 speeds. We've got three levers on it. And we've also got two speeds in reverse. So a low speed and then a high speed as well. So that's how that transmission operates. It's like riding a bicycle. It's been about 15 years since I drove this truck, but, and we don't clutch it. What I'm saying is once you can time, once you can start to time the engine to the speed, to the, to the gears, you don't push, this is the clutch. You gotta push that in to activate the PTO, but you don't have to push that in when you're driving it. You just start to shift and you start to find your way into those gears. Because when the engine and tranny are perfectly timed together, she'll just, she'll just flow. And that is probably my favorite transmission right there. That truck right there, that's a freight liner. I'll tell you a story about that one. And that clutch on that truck, is super tough i mean like when you step on it you are pushing yourself into the seat might as well be leg pressing at this point but now if you're going to be driving and you don't feel like exercising during the day that's too bad because you are leg pressing and we brought that into uh the freightliner dealer in invergrove heights where we bought that truck brand new and complained about that clutch and the manager of the freightliner shop had the nerve and audacity to look at my dad and say well if you weren't so damn fat it wouldn't be so hard to push. Whoa. Whoa. That's I don't the, know about you, but my old man be going out to the truck and coming back with something heavy that he could swing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I think the fact that I'm telling the story about the Freightliner dealer in Invergrove Heights, what some of people that are around the Twin Cities know that Freightliner dealer. And I was actually went in years, years later for something because I said I'd never go back there again. Yeah. I was reading the reviews on the wall and people were leaving notes, worst dealership ever, yeah. worst this ever, worst that yeah. ever. Uh, I think their reputation, karma, right, Sam? It's all about karma, dude. Like, yeah, you get what you give, that's for sure. Exactly. You get what you give, well said, time, at least. well said, sir. So. I don't know, so you man. You got everything out of there before I locked it up? You ain't got nothing in your truck? I got nothing. You got my camera? Yep. And I got this one, and we got her to dump. Next phase, I got to get the rest of that cleaned up. Cleaned up. Snacks. Get your snackies. Yeah, my, yeah, my, yep. Usually a snack pack. Sam's snack pack is in the front seat, chilling. 